Hey y'all, Melissa Bryan here from Outlaw Life Psychic Enterprises, LLC. Yeah, I'm changing my business name, uh, new energy coming into my life, so I'm changing the name to meet that energy. What once used to be Umpqua Valley Outlaw, Umpqua Valley Psychic and Media, the Outlaw Psychic LLC in Roseburg, Oregon. Sorry, I get a little tongue-tied every now and then. Um, anyway a lot going on uh ever since my family and i pretty much got banned from all public places in roseburg with the exception of a few minor pockets um depending on where the sheep are the most scared and yeah you heard me right i'm calling you out roseburg oregon you're a bunch of terrified sheeple you want to follow lockstep with governor garbage ass brown really are you friggin insane honestly you think she has the authority to do much of anything to any of you i guarantee you not so since then i have been banned from facebook for 30 days for speaking out against this because we are unwilling to be terrified sheeple. We will not wear a mask. This is a mask-free zone. No masks, no none of this bullshit. And now the government's saying we have to cover our entire faces and our behinds and our ears. This is getting more insane by the day, folks. No, 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 no. N-O spells no, Roseburg. You want to do this? You do it. But don't force me and mine. We will not do this. We will not cooperate. We will not comply. The answer is no. The answer is no. The answer is no, 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 no. And pointing all fingers of blame and shame right back at Governor Garbage Brown. Yep, you heard me right. And hell no, we are not taking the vaccine either. Punish us all you want, but we're not complying. The answer is no. So there you go. I am outraged. I am absolutely fucking outraged. Outraged that we should have to even bother with this garbage outraged I have had friendships lost over this um I refuse to give this city any more money I will not give this city any more money I won't do it no um you know I'm not dealing I'm not doing it. Not no more. I'm telling you, we have already had this. Back in 2018, the precursor, we're immune. We are immune. We are immune. We are immune. Point, 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 right back at you, garbage brown. We will not live in mortal fear. We beat this thing and I'm proud of it. I will fight to the death against socialism, communism, Marxism, and all this other ism bullshit. Okay? Because my grandfather fought it. In fact, my grandfathers all fought it. And I aim on fighting it myself. I am now a freedom fighter after my grandfathers and grandmothers who bravely fought against all these isms and fascists and whatever other manner of garbage is out there, including our garbage governor, okay? Yeah, it's true. Our governor is garbage. You hear that? Kate Brown, you're garbage. You're nothing. You're zero. You're nada. So, anyway, that being the case, I've also, on the flip side of all this, got a job with Intuity Psychics. 
You can now call me 888-626-7386, ID 160097. So you can call me at that point. Uh, I want to thank uh, Jean Knoll for letting me be on her podcast. That was awesome. Um, some jackass wannabe uh, historian shot his mouth off against my ancestors and I, so my ancestors shot back at him and uh, utterly, thoroughly humiliated that jackass. Ha ha ha. <laughs> And also, I may well be joining Roseburg Country Club, albeit briefly, depending on where we end up. Um, you know. Oh, wow, the, uh, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, the censors got me again on Facebook, god damn them. Oh, and uh, also, uh, I got my hands on a John Wayne classic, one of my absolute very favorite movies, and it's called She Wore a Yellow Ribbon, unopened, brand new, hot off the presses, and the very last one I need is Fort Apache to complete the trilogy. Rio Grande, She Wore a Yellow Ribbon, and Fort Apache. I grew up, well, actually I didn't grow up necessarily, but I spent my teen years in the area where both She Wore a Yellow Ribbon and Fort Apache were filmed. And I have visited several of the sites where this is filmed in uh, times in my youth. From my home where I spent my teen years uh, in Chatsworth, California, you could see the backdrop of the mountainside where the fort and parade grounds once stood in the 1930s and 40s for she wore a yellow ribbon and also Fort Apache. I used to ride my bicycle around where all the old movie ranches were. I knew the casts and crews. I knew everybody there at one time. Well, that came to a quick and abrupt end when I graduated high school. Um, well, life being what it is, I ended up having to leave. So, anyway, I'm going to throw a big old shout out to Sherm's Thunderbird Grocery Store. I miss New Mexico and Arizona, the smell of roasting chilies in the air. And they are doing a roasted chili sale. Yeah, go get you some before these guys run out of it. Hatch green chilies, oh, the best. I learned in Arizona and New Mexico how to cook jam and jelly and even bake with these chilies. It gives off a nice, rich, smoky, sweet flavor that just goes amazingly with just everything across the board. And now I'm getting ready to uh, get my own paranormal team, which I was told would never happen. Well, sorry folks, it is happening. Golden West Paranormal will be happening very soon. Uh, of course, it is pending further investigation into legalities and name rights and all this other stuff that has to be done before that can take place. So. Anyway, I'm really excited about it. I'm jazzed. I'm thrilled. I can't wait to get my team going because um, in a book called um, Ghost Stories of Oregon, I have found locations that the big teams have not touched yet. Ghost Adventures did a couple of them, but the rest of them have not touched them yet. So... I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do those myself with my team. I've got a couple of friends that want to do this. And um, anyway, I think with one's knowledge of equipment and tech, one's knowledge of locations and historical research and mine with psychic, I think we're going to make a dynamic trio. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And um, anyway... I just want to say I hate Roseburg, Oregon. I've hated it for a long time. I love Sherm's Thunderbird, but I hate Roseburg. It just, it's not fitting here. You know, this is not, 
you know, this is not working for us, my hubby and I. This is literally seriously not working for us. I'm just, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I have to go someplace else. Or maybe, just maybe, I might fit better. You know. Ah, stupid BLM is still rioting also in Portland, Oregon. Um, well, anyway, I've got to go to Portland tomorrow to, um, you know. <sighs> anyway. Yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm going up to Portland Monday to be able to finish some business I've got there. I've got to finish this and get it over with. That way I can go to work as of the week after and I can start taking calls full time. Um, I've already threatened the governor. I've already threatened Facebook. I've, you know popped off to a lot of people because I'm sick and tired of being abused. You know, people laugh at me and harass me and abuse me and threaten me. Well, I'm not taking it anymore. I'm giving back what they dish out. I dish it out and they can't take it apparently. All oh, wham, boo hoo. Friggin' cry me a river and then build a bridge and get the you know what over it. Well, anyway, get the F over it. Yep, that's it. Get the F over it. I am tired of being done dirty and lied about, lied against, lied away, lied, 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 lied. I am sick and tired of it. Hmm. No, that's not Billy. I know Billy, and that's not him. Wow. <sighs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is just, this is, um, I'm just, I'm, I'm really angry because I can't answer to this thing. They have made it impossible for me to do so. But when I get back on Facebook, Facebook, you're going to get it. And you're going to get it hard from me. Okay? I am going to shove my nose right up your asses and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm just, I'm done. I'm done being, you know... The image of scorn and all that but no that picture is not Billy in fact it's not anyone I know of it could be for all I know um maybe um Tommy O maybe um but anyway other than that I can't think of anyone else it could be um, I'm just, I'm really pissed off right now. 
How dare anybody block me for any reason other than their own selfish, stupid pride? You know? I'm not a threat to anybody other than those who become a threat to me, which forces me to become a threat to them, which it just goes in a vicious circle cycle. Around and around and around and around and around and around in the same circles. You see what I'm saying? They abuse me first and I shove back. They abuse me more, I shove back. They abuse me more, I shove back. And back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. They point all fingers of blame and shame at me and I point it back. Back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. They pointed at me, I pointed at them. They pointed at me, I pointed back at them. Back at me, back at them. Back at me, back at them. Back at me, back at them. Point, 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 point. It's a non-stop, vicious, teeter-totter, treadmill, tug-of-war. Yes, no, yes, no. Merry-go-round. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Windshield wiper finger pointing game. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Again and again and again and again. When are these people going to get it to just leave me alone? I mean, we've already endured, you know, a couple of years of street theater out here. Yeah, I know. I've seen people do it. They come out here just to get a look at my trailer. For what? There's nothing here. It's not spectacular. It's not grand. It's a trailer. Okay? It's a trailer. It's my home. It's where I live. What the hell is so grand about it? There's nothing grand about it. There's nothing grand about me. I work my ass off. That's the God's honest truth. I work my ass off. These people are wrecking, ruining, and destroying. And I mean Facebook headquarters is literally destroying my name, my reputation, my everything that the assholes that went after me did now Facebook is doing well I'm gonna have to pay them a visit and uh, it's gonna have to be a war you know it really is it's gonna have to be a war it's gonna have to be an all-out physical battle brawl between me and them at this point you know I'm just I'm done I have decided I am not going to tolerate anybody else's anything ever again. Which means you shove me, I'll shove you back. You push me, I'll push you back. You hit me, I'll hit you back. You punch me, I'll punch you back. Kick me, I'll kick you back. You bite me, I'll bite you back. And back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. You call me names, I'll call you worse. You call me names, I'll call you worse. You call me names, I'll call you worse. You point anything at me, I'll point it right back at you because I have no guilt on my conscience. None whatsoever. Because I haven't done anything other than defend my rights. Oh, I don't care if I'm the only one who can see the account restriction. No, no, no. I'm not restricted. I don't believe in restrictions. Nope, I'm not restricted. I don't care. I do not care. I do not believe in restrictions. Nope, I do not believe in restrictions. I will not. I refuse. Yep, I'm having to scream, yell, chant, picket, and protest against Facebook. Um, I'm fighting them as hard as I can, and I'm going to fight for the next 30 days. Well, 28 days now, but anyway, 
I'm going to fight them every step of the way, folks. I am going to fight them and fight them and fight them and fight them. I am going to fight them so hard that it's going to make their heads spin. I really am. I'm going to fight them so hard. Oof. They are not going to be able to get out of this war. They brought it on themselves, not me. Never ever me. Nope. No, I did not bring it on myself. I refuse it. It's not happening. I don't believe in it. No, 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 no. So therefore, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get the hell out of here. I've got work I've got to get done. I'm so far behind. I can't even remember the last time I was this far behind. Anyway, I'll talk at y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.